Hi, I'm Doug from NVIDIA. We're here in Barcelona in the NVIDIA booth at Mobile World Congress 2014. We have a, a variety of exciting things to share with you this, uh, this year in Barcelona. Let's start with our new Tegra K1. Our new mobile processor, the Tegra K1, brings the Kepler architecture to mobile for the first time. With a 192 core, fully programmable GPU, this opens up a whole host of new opportunities for gaming, graphics, automotive, and other vertical markets. K1 comes in two varieties, a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version. The 64-bit version features NVIDIA's own Denver architecture, which is the highest performance ARM CPU available, featuring a seven-way superscaler. We're showing a variety of demos that we showcased earlier this year at the CES show in Las Vegas, showing the graphics capability in our reference tablet. One I'd like to draw your attention to is Unreal Engine 4 running in mobile for the first time. Unreal Engine 4 is a watershed moment in mobile gaming and brings an entirely new level of experience to mobile gamers. Since we are at Mobile World Congress, it's important to share with you the latest advancements in our LTE technology. We're also showing a few new devices. The first one is from a company called Wico. It's a rapidly growing French phone OEM that's, showing, that's launching the first Tegra 4i LTE phone in Europe. The Tegra 4i is NVIDIA's first integrated LTE mobile processor, and in the Wico Wax smartphone, delivers 2x the performance of other phones in its class. I'm also very excited to welcome a new member to the Tegra Note 7 family, the Tegra Note 7 LTE. The Tegra Note 7 LTE features NVIDIA's own i500 modem, which brings LTE and HSPA Plus connectivity to operators around the world. The other exciting news about the Tegra Note family is it's now going into new markets. For example, it'll be shipping into Western Europe and Brazil in Q2. And that's the big Tegra news at Mobile World Congress 2014. Thank you very much and see you next year.